Dear children, now let us begin our chapter 2, the operating system, Windows 7. As you go through this chapter and simultaneously work on your machine, you will discover new ways of operating your computer. You all know how to start your computers, right? Once your computer is on, the screen that you see is the desktop. The desktop looks different on different computers depending on the version of Windows you have on your computer. The bar at the bottom of your monitor screen is the task bar. It shows the programs which are running currently. Now let us watch how to start a program. If the icon of the program you want to start is present on the desktop, simply double click on it to start. If not, proceed as follows. To open notepad, click on start button. Place the mouse pointer on all programs. Now click on accessories folder. You will find notepad under the list. Click on notepad to start it. Adding a program to the start menu. The start menu is an easy way to begin a program. You can add any program to the start menu. This is called pinning the program to the menu. To do this, right click on the program icon and select pin to start menu option. The program icon will get added to the start menu. Adding shortcuts of a program on the desktop. Children, if you use a program such as MS Word, MS PowerPoint or Notepad very regularly, you can put a shortcut on the desktop. You can then open it quickly by double clicking on the shortcut. Let us see the procedure. Find out the program in the All Programs menu. Right click and select the option Send to. Now click on Desktop Create Shortcut. You can see the shortcut of the program on the desktop. Dear children, now we have studied how to start a program, pinning the program to the start menu and adding shortcut on the desktop. 